The last U.S. combat troops left Iraq over the weekend after nine years of war that left nearly 4,500 U.S. soldiers and more than 100,000 Iraqis dead. Thousands more were injured and millions displaced. Much of the country remains in ruin. As physical rebuilding of Iraq continues, one organization has been trying to mend the relationships between ordinary Americans and Iraqis. Since 2004, the Iraqi and American Reconciliation Project in Minneapolis has been repairing cultural and ethnic damages from the war, one family at a time. The group has hosted 40 Iraqi professionals in Minneapolis in an effort to dispel stereotypes of Iraqi and American culture. FSRN's Joe Kadat caught up with some of the Iraqi doctors visiting Duluth and files this report. In a small, dimly lit auditorium at the University of Minnesota Duluth, nine medical professionals from Iraq talk about the war with a handful of Duluth residents. Kufa College dentist Mahdi Al-Farahon is a resident of Najaf, Iraq. He says U.S.-led attacks on Najaf's infrastructure have left the city with a shortage of clean drinking water and access to only six hours of electricity per day. They destroyed our ethics, they destroyed our education, they destroyed our lifestyle of in, 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 in street, in schools, in hospitals. They destroyed everything. We are just a human like you. We need to work and to live, to love, to grow up our children, to get education, to improve our life. El Farahon says many Iraqis despised Americans because of the war. And until now, not them as a human being. There is no respect between the American troops in Iraq and the Iraqi people. And if you go there, you see in your, in your eyes a lot of examples. They cut the street, they shoot anybody unlike them, and nobody judged them. But some of those perspectives changed for Al Farahon after he joined the Iraqi and American Reconciliation Project. Al Farahon says the kindness and compassion he's experienced in the U.S. changed his mind about the American people. He says he had no idea there were so many people in the U.S. who opposed the war in Iraq. Actually, Personally, I came to America to see the, the fathers of those soldiers in Iraq and to see how they are thinking. According to that, we, we saw also here is a big difference in thinking, but the, the media is not to transmit the, the facts in Iraq. Concerned that the war was corroding relations between Iraqis and Americans, Peace activists from Najaf in Minneapolis created the Iraqi and American Reconciliation Project in 2004. The group's communications director, Luke Wilcox, says it's a unique grassroots effort dedicated to dispelling ethnic and cultural stereotypes between Iraqi and U.S. citizens. In terms of unraveling sort of the damage that's been done um, from war, uh, where does war tears down and breaks down those relationships? Um, I think the shared experiences and uh, doing things like hosting an Iraqi family in your home and uh, really getting to know someone from Iraq or, or Iraqis getting to know Americans can really undo a lot of that um, tearing down that has happened through war. Wilcox says many Iraqis and Americans see each other's society through the lens of war and associate it with violence. He says this program helps foster the rebuilding process by reducing hostility between cultures. Thirty families in Minnesota have hosted professionals from Najaf over the past seven years. One of them was retired medical technologist Cheryl Limdick. She says some of her family were concerned about Iraq being a misogynistic society, but those assumptions were soon challenged. Just from a week of being with them, our eyes are opened. We get a stereotype of another country when you don't know the people and don't have a chance and don't have the media to see the people, you just go by what you hear and what you're feeling at that time. So I don't think you get to know a country, like I said before, unless you know the people. For the Iraqis taking part, they also have new perspectives of American people. Kufa College of Medicine doctor Hadi Al-Wakil says when he goes back to Najaf, he'll tell his friends and colleagues that there's a big difference between Americans who supported the war and those who were against it. So this trip will help so much to transfer the idea to the, our families and the family to the family that there is big difference between the behavior of the troops in Iraq and the behavior of people in America. 
they are so kind, they are so uh, sympathetic. Very sympathetic with us. The Iraqi and American Reconciliation Project says it has improved relations between thousands of Americans and Iraqis. But those involved say efforts like this should be more widespread, educating more Americans about the impact of war and bringing the two cultures together. Although U.S. officials have declared an end to the war in Iraq, the Iraqi and American Reconciliation Project will continue its work. In March, 30 Americans will depart to Najaf, the biggest group they've ever sent to Iraq. Joe Kadat, FSRN, Duluth.